So fresh, clean drinking water is so important to being out in the woods. You have to have confidence in whatever system you have that it will work for you. So today I'm going to be sharing the Grail Geo Press. If you're interested, keep watching. Before we begin, I'd like to thank InSport Canada, the Canadian distributors for Grail products, for sending me the Grail Geo Press that I could share it with you. So what I thought we would do is go down to my bench top. I would go over the key features for this water purifier. I'd go over its physical and performance specifications. I'll demonstrate how it's intended to be used, and then we'll talk about some of the pros and cons. All right, let's start by going over the key features for the Grail GeoPress. And by the way, this is the black version known as Covert Black. And there is another version in bright orange. So the key features to begin, it has an active technology of ion exchange and ultra powdered activated carbon. It is built to withstand the harshest of use and the harshest of conditions. In fact, it is guaranteed to withstand drops of 10 feet while full of water onto concrete without any damage. It has a very fast flow rate of eight seconds for 24 ounces. And this being a 24 ounce bottle means you should be able to filter out it, all the water you can in uh, eight seconds. It is designed in the United States, yet it is made in China. However, the purifier cartridge media is made in the United States. So the people at Grail are so confident in the product they have, they're given this a 10 year warranty that covers workmanship and materials. All right, let's go over the physical specifications for this water purifier. To start with, as I mentioned, it has a capacity of 24 ounces and there is a fill line that I'll, well, let's show it to you right now. So when you are filling it up from your water source, you don't exceed this line. Otherwise you won't be able to get all the water through the filter. So that also comes in at 710 millimeters. The overall weight is 15.9 ounces or 450 grams. So it's just short of one pound. It comes in at 10.4 inches in height, which is 26.5 centimeters. And its diameter is 3.4 inches or 8.6 uh, centimeters. All right, let's talk about the performance specifications for the Grail GeoPress. So the information provided with the filter or the purifier states that it will remove all waterborne pathogens, including all viruses, all bacteria, all protozoans, cysts, including the rotavirus, hepatitis A, norovirus, giardiasis, cryptosporidiums, cholera, salmonella, dysentery, and more to a degree of 99.99%. So that right there will take care of most of what you're concerned about in backcountry water sources, but it does go further. It also filters out particulates such as silt. So if you can't get all the silt out of your water, the filter will uh, remove that. Although you do have to consider that it will shorten the lifespan of the filter uh, media. It also filters out microplastics, something that we need to be taking more and more uh, notice of as they are so present in the environment. It has an activated carbon in uh, a portion in the filter that absorbs chemicals, pesticides, heavy metals, flavors, and odors. So that pretty much covers the whole gamut of things that you might encounter in the wild. However, there are a few things when I get to the pros and cons that it is not guaranteed to cover, but we'll talk about them then. As far as lifespan for the cartridge itself, it has a shelf life of 10 years unopened, but once it's opened, it's good for three years or 350 cycles and that would be 65 gallons or 250 liters. And the way they say, because like me, I'm not going to remember how many uh, times I pushed down in this and how much water I did. And if I didn't fill it completely every time, it would, would uh, throw the numbers off. So basically they say the judgment is if you find that it takes you 25 seconds to push the filter down through the water, it's time to replace it. Or if it's been three years since you first opened it up, whichever comes first. All right, let's do some demonstrations with the filter. All right, just before we get down to the water's edge, I thought I would take a moment to show you some close-ups of the Grail GeoPress and each of its components. So to begin, uh, one of the first thing you should take note of and don't make this mistake is open up the pour spout over the top because uh, it does have quite a bit of suction and then you can more easily pull the unit apart like this. 
So this is your water reservoir. You're going to be putting your dirty or potentially contaminated water. And once again, there is the fill line on it. So don't fill up past that. Be careful not to cross contaminate dirty water by putting any inside of the clean water portion of the device. I'll show you a few more things on the reservoir in a second. So here is your basic filter device. Here is the filter at the bottom. This is replaceable and you can purchase replacement filters to go on this. There is quite a, a hefty uh, silicon ring that will keep all the dirty water in or down below and give you the air pressure you need it to push it up through. And you can remove the top by screwing it off. So there is your top. So that's all there is to it, really. There's not a whole lot of this. The, all the active work is being done by this filter, but it being a manual pump, um, there's a few design features that make it a little bit easier there to start with. It has a rubberized bottom on it just to keep it from, uh, I don't know, what, we, what would you say, slipping off of any surface you're trying to hold it onto, as well as to give it a little bump protection should you drop it on the ground. And on the top, there are two pads right here, also rubberized, and that's where you place the palms as your hand, as you'll see in the demonstration, so that you can push down at a steady, even rate and find it quite comfortable. I have heard people say that they find it uncomfortable on their hands, but likely what they're doing is they're removing the lid and then pushing down on the outside. And yeah, I can see, because it does take a little bit of pressure to push down on this. All right, so that's really all there is to this filter. It does give you the sense of confidence in that it appears to be very heavy uh, uh, duty, very well built. The design, everything seems to be thought out very well. So uh, yeah, let's take it down to the water's edge and put it to the uh, test. And that's just a little less than the full 20, oh, actually it is right at the mark, 24 ounces. All right, let me reposition the camera. Pour spout open, hands on either side, and just begin pressing. Don't be in too much of a rush. Just let your body weight do it slowly. Now you can see water coming through the filter inside. All right, that's all there is to it. Full bottle of fresh, clean water. So, you know, the Grail Geopress has been reviewed by a great number of people on YouTube and almost to the person, they have great things to say about it. But I find that there are a few things that I have picked up on this that I feel it's important that I make you aware of. Now, they're not deal breakers, but they are something that you should be aware of. So let's go through the pros and cons as I see them. So obviously the very first one is that it is extremely easy to use. I mean. You saw how easy it was. All I had to do was fill the reservoir up from my water source, put the filter portion in and push it down through. And I had clean water in the matter of less than 10 seconds. I mean, it doesn't get any easier than that. Just about every other system I have, either you're required to drink directly from the bottle that the filter is in, or you have to set up a gravity feed system and let it uh, drain into another container like a water bottle. Not so this one. This one, everything is self-contained. And the other thing about that is the fact that you can now take this fresh, clean water and pour it into another container, another water bottle or a kettle or a pot or whatever you want, knowing that it is fresh and clean, and then just go refill it up. So you could continually filter more and more water uh, with using this device. That's a more like a pump de device would be, but a lot less effort. Obviously, the other thing is the durability. I mean, drop this from 10 meters full of water and not cause it any damage. That's a durable device. That's something I have confidence in I'm not going to break. And that's the reason for, of course, the 10 year warranty on it. Um, it removes a great deal of contaminants but it doesn't remove everything. So one of the things I asked about, and it's, and it's not rated to remove, 
is uh, blue-green algae or the cyanotoxins that result from blue-green al algae. Now, that's not a great concern if you are aware and know what you're looking at and you see blue-green algae in your water source, just don't try and filter it. There apparently is very few filters on the market. I reviewed one not so long ago that is guaranteed to remove the contaminants or the cyanotoxins. However, the grail is not. So again, just something to be aware of. Um, it can be damaged if it's frozen. Now, Grail does say that it would take at least three uh, of freezes, uh, three times of this being frozen before the filter would be damaged. I don't know if the body of it would be damaged if the, the water was frozen inside of the container, but I think as a practice, it's important not to allow this to freeze. If you are going to be using it in cold temperatures, then take steps to keep it from freezing by keep it somewhere warm, like in your sleeping bag or, or whatever. So that is a relative con. Most filters are like that. Very few that I have reviewed can withstand being frozen. This one is better than most, but still not perfect in that way. It's heavy. It's heavy in, in that there, you know, it's a double walking design of heavy duty materials. And that's the reason it's durable, of course, but that also results in quite a heavy device. And as I mentioned, almost one pound empty. You know, compare that against another system. Maybe you have an aluminum bottle, better yet, a stainless steel bottle, or if you can afford it, a titanium bottle, and you have a water filter system. I think you can come up with something much lighter uh, than this in terms of a purification system and a water containment system. System. Having said that, they wouldn't be as convenient as this, and a lot of them wouldn't be as effective as this either. So uh, yeah, that's about all, the only thing I can say about the weight of it. Uh, they're a bit expensive. You know, they, I guess it depends on what are you willing to pay to have your water safe and you feel confident drinking from it. So they are a bit expensive. In Canada right now, this, this unit sells for $120. I don't know what you'll pay for it in the United States, but um, you can look that up. I'm sure you'll already know if you're interested in these things. The replacement filter is $35. Will I pay that when this one is worn out? Yes, I will, because there is so much to like about this that I am willing to buy at $35. That's the cost of many other, just the filter itself. But to go along with the rest of the device and the convenience and the durability and everything else that goes with this, yeah, I'll pay $35 when this one eventually wears out. There is one thing that I don't know how to respond to this. In the literature on the Grail Geopress, it talks about not using this in waters that are heavy in tannins. Now, for those of you who aren't aware, tannins are the result of decomposing organic matter, and it tends to turn the water brown. My experience, at least around here, almost every water source is brown, and that's resulting in tannins. Now, here's the thing, I don't know how they're bad for the filter. And I haven't got a response back from Grail to, to tell me why it's bad for the filter. Tannins in and of themselves, unless somebody can uh, tell me different, are not harm, harmful to you or, or to me, uh, unless you drink a great deal with them. In fact, if you're a tea drinker, you're drinking tannins every day. So it's not the tannins in terms of a health effect, again, unless you're drinking a lot of them. Um, and I, honestly, I don't know any way of getting rid of tannins, but I don't know why they recommend against tannins, um, unless it somehow shortens the lifespan of the filter. But that's the only thing I can say. Uh, and what I mean by heavy in tannins, well, when I was down at the water's edge filling this bottle up, you could see how brown the water was. It's clear, there's no mud or silt, it's just brown from tannins. How much is too much? How long and how it'll affect the filter? That's the answer I can't give you. Okay, that's everything I have to say about the Grail Geopress. This is one high quality, dependable device that I would grab without hesitation and use without hesitation. Its only downfalls are the limited and very limited things that it will not remove, being the uh, cyanotoxins from blue-green algae and its weight and its cost. Those are both the only cons, and they're not absolute, 
they're just relative cons. Okay, if you have any comments, maybe you know something about the Grail GeoPress that I don't. If you have any comments or any questions, please put them in the comment section below. I will be giving you the information for this device in the video description, including where the address of the people who did send it to me so that you can reach out to them if you're interested in purchasing one. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path less traveled because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.